Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm doing the GPU overclock 2024 with the new method. Of course, with uh, GPU overclock, you will increase your FPS in games like Warzone, but you can also increase your 1% lows in games like Fortnite. But graphic intensive games will benefit the most of this. Okay, so for this guide, you need a few things. First of all, I want you to install Superposition Benchmark, which we will use for benchmarking and also stress testing. And that should be stable for all games you play. Second thing you need is MSI Afterburner. Of course, this is used to set all the overclock settings. So also download this from the site. I will put all links in the description. Also, I will put a folder in the description with some basic tweaks you want to run and also a VRAM stress test. Okay, first of all, what's new with this method? The old method we used was we were setting a constant voltage point here and we're dragging it up on this curve like this. But with this method, we will set a constant voltage point, for example, one volt, and then we will use this slider to bring up the whole curve. And the benefit from this is we will have the effective clock way closer to the clock we will set here. So that's why we will do this like this. Okay, but let's just start with a baseline. Assuming you downloaded these files and ran it as administrator and then you want to open up MSI Afterburner. And we will need to do some quick settings. First of all, you want to check every checkbox right here. Never check for updates. Also here you can use third party and then you want to set a fan curve. So I like to set my fan curve like this. So if my graphics card hits 50 Celsius, the fan speed is on 40%. And if it hits 70, it will be on 100%. Then just click on apply. Then for the monitoring tab, I like to uncheck everything besides GPU temperature, GPU usage and memory usage, core clock, power and GPU voltage. Everything else is unchecked. For the user interface, I'm using the MSI Mystic skin, but that doesn't matter. You can decide which one. And also I like to have no transparency with my skin. Okay, then just click on apply and on okay. And you will left here. First of all, you want to drag the power limit slider and the temp limit slider to the max and also the core voltage slider that doesn't matter that much because we will use a fixed voltage point just now max out everything okay click on apply okay what i want you to do now is um, click on the detach button and you will be left with this monitoring and open up super position benchmark and leave this msi afterburner stuff open and we want to get a baseline on our temperature and voltage before we start. So to do that, you want to go onto the game and max out your VRAM as much as you can, but it should not be above your VRAM you have. So in my case, I can max it out if I use custom and use the max resolution. And also I like to disable motion blur. And for the settings, turn off everything of this and then click on run. Okay, now you want to click on the top left on cinematic mode and run this for about 10 to 15 minutes. So we have a baseline of our temperature and I will see you after I did this. Okay, I let it run for about 20 minutes or something. And now you want to open up your hardware monitor and you want to look for GPU voltage and you want to look on the top left, the minimum voltage. So in my case, it was 993 millivolts and that's the baseline where we start for our card so for my card so now you want to go into msi afterburner press ctrl plus f to open up the curve and you want to look for the voltage we saw here so it should be right here 993 now you want to press l on your keyboard to set the fixed voltage point right here and click on apply in MSI Afterburner. And as you can see here, it's now fixed on 993 millivolts. Okay, now you can close this and leave this open because we want to see later if it drops further. So we have to drop our curve a bit. But now we want to start with the memory overclock. Before we do that, of course, we want to find the base score, what we can achieve without any overclock. So to do that, 
you want to go into the benchmark performance, put this on the settings which you used for the game. So for me, it was like this, maxes out my VRAM as much as it could. And now you want to click on run and wait until the run is finished and save the score. So I will see you after my run has finished. Okay, I just finished the first one and this is the score I got and as well look for the voltage. As you can see, it didn't drop below that. So what I like to do now is just save a screenshot for my baseline. Uh, so I can compare it to the other results later. Okay, now we want to start with overclocking our memory. If you have a 40 series card and 30 series card, you can push this really far, so you can start with like plus 1000 and for 20 series cards I would say start with like plus 500 and 10 series cards try with plus 250 in the beginning. So in my case I know what this card can do but I will show you. So I will start with 1k on the memory and apply and now you want to run the benchmark again and save the score. So as you can see, I have my second result in and my voltage didn't drop. And now you want to compare this to the base result. And as you can see, it went up with like 200 points. So now just save it as a screenshot again, give it a good name. And then you want to start increasing the memory again until you have worse performance as before. So the score goes down or if you get crashes. So go up in 100 steps or 200 steps. So in my case, I will just go with 1.2K, apply and run again. Okay, I have the next score now and we want to check if our minimum FPS, average and max went up. It did as you can see, but the score only went up a little bit. So all good, just save the screenshot again and repeat the same step again until you hit your max memory clock. So I will see you when I got it. Okay, I have the next score in. As you can see, error correction kicked in and the score fully went down. So for me, this means 1.2K is the max I can go. And as well, as you can see, my minimum voltage went down a bit, but this was only for like one second and one point. So I will not put it down right now. And as you can see, my max temperature was 71. Okay, now I found out my max memory clock. I will save it real quick to profile five. And now we want to start with the core clock. But before we do that, real quick, it's a link from the future in the editing. And I forgot to say, you want to use the VRAM stress test I put in the folder you downloaded and run it for like 20 minutes so you know that your memory is really stable. I just forgot to say that in the video, but do that. And as I said, we will not drag it up here because we will use this slider now. So for me, I will just start with plus 100 and I will see how it goes. Of course, we want to go higher and higher until it crashes or we get errors and something like this. And or the score goes down. So let's see what we can achieve here now. Okay, score is in. And as you can see, all the stats went up and we gained a good amount of points. So now I will just repeat the step, increasing the core clock until I have hit my max. Okay, after my last run, the voltage dropped a lot. So now what I want to do is I want to go back on the curve and try the lowest voltage point again, which was this one and check if this is stable. So apply and do a quick one again. Okay, as you can see, the score almost stayed the same and there was no crash and the voltage didn't drop again. So now I want to go back to the core clock and increase it again. So let's see what happens. Okay, now I have increased the core clock way too much and as you can see the benchmark crashed immediately. So now I will go to MSI Afterburner and drop it down until everything is stable again. Also, if you're not sure how much you can increase the core clock, core clock, just start with an increase on plus 30 or 15. Okay, actually top 200 on the core clock was the max I could get stable. Now I just want to save this on profile 5 again. And as you can see, the voltage didn't drop. And now I want to go in the folder in the description. Or you want to go in the folder in the description. And I actually forgot we should have run this test after we did our memory overclock. 
to see if it's 100% stable, but all good, we can just run it now. So just run it for like 10 to 15 minutes and check if you have no errors. Okay, I just had it run for about 10 minutes. That's stable enough for me right now. So, but you can leave it running for an hour or whatever, what you want. But uh, because I forgot to do the test after the memory OC, I found out that I had to drop my core clock by about 20, but all good. So I can exit out of the test. And now the final test I like to do is open up super position benchmark again, go into the game tab, put everything on the max again, and just leave the cinematic mode run for about 15 minutes. And yeah, I will do that right now. So I'll see you after. Okay, I just had it running for like 20 minutes and this was stable. I had no crashes or anything like this. The voltage dropped to 962, but just for like one second at the beginning. So uh, that's not a problem. And, and these are my final results. So I will just save it to profile five, activate it on startup and you can exit out of it. Now we're finished. So if you enjoyed the video, Leave a like, leave a comment. Also, if you have any questions, you can go into my Discord. The link for it is also in the description and you can ask them in the questions channel. Also, quick thing, if you want, you can also use OCCT, the VRAM test in here, but that's just uh, something if you want to test different things. Okay. Also, you can have the cinematic mode running for like an hour as well as the VRAM test here. If you want to be 100% sure if it's stable, you can also just play a game. And if you experience any crash, you know it's unstable. So you might want to go back to your OC and tweak it a bit. Yeah, and if you had 1K subs on this channel, I will do a CPU overclock guide and also maybe a RAM overclocking guide if you're interested in that DDR5. So see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.